Hello, welcome to Linda Legs Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. All right, please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, it don't. Don't make something fit that don't fit. Okay, let's start off with signs. <clears throat> the signs that I call out could be signs... That you have in your chart or the other person listen i um i definitely feel like this is a love reading considering the song that i channeled earlier today when i was in the bathroom <laughs> i know tmi holy spirit holy angels let's get out the signs first though what zodiac signs are we dealing with spirit what zodiac signs Ooh. what zodiac signs are involved in this situation dang so somebody here could be a leo or you could be dealing with a leo or someone who has leo somewhere in their chart you could be dealing with a taurus okay or someone who has taurus somewhere in their chart you could be or you have taurus somewhere in your chart um scorpio i could be talking to scorpio you could have scorpio somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one dang we got libra i could be talking to a libra you could have libra somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one okay we got saggy you could be dealing with a Saggy. You could have Sag somewhere in your chart, or you're dealing with one. We have Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could have Aries somewhere in your chart. Okay. And one more. If there is one more. Thank you. Virgo. I could be talking to a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or someone here has Virgo somewhere in their chart. And the bottom of the deck, we got Cancy. So, Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could have Cancer somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Okay. Also, for a lot of you, the, one of these signs could be in your Venus as well. Or in their Venus placement. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do they need to harm? Actually, let me get into the um, let me get into the song. So the song that I was hearing, okay, number three, it's by Justin Timberlake. It's called uh, "My Love." Okay, so in the beginning of the song, it goes. I didn't realize he he says, "Ain't ain't another woman that can take your take your spot, my." And then it goes, "Do it, do it." <laughs> okay, let me stop. <clears throat> then goes. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Okay, so I feel like there's somebody here who wants to come in and serenade your ass. Okay, there's someone here that really wants you to tell that, or they want to really tell you how they feel about you. I feel like this is a lot of emotions that are bottling up for this person um, that they have within them, okay? I'm also getting, like, this person spends a lot of time wondering, like, how you even feel about them or wondering if you're even going to, like, accept their advances or... Someone's afraid of you rejecting them is what I'm getting. It says, then he goes on and he says, if I told you confirmation. So someone's really afraid of rejection right now. Okay. Someone really thinks you're freaking beautiful or really freaking handsome. Flip it where I need to go. Then it goes, if I, blah, blah, blah. then it goes, uh, well, baby, I've been around the world, but it, so this, <laughs> Jesus. So this could be someone who goes, who has traveled, who is well-traveled, or this could be someone who is uh well known around the world for some of y'all or something it's like but he goes but i ain't seen myself another girl like you i'm also getting like somebody here could be like with that with those lines it makes me feel like mind you this could be this could be a man or a woman that wants you place where you need to go um but i feel like this person <clears throat> jesus this is someone here who Ha doesn't have a problem getting a you know a date all right this person has a lot of options um i feel like this is someone here who is desirable to a lot of people and i feel like this person is wants you has picked you they're focused on you you've caught their eye in some way okay 
And then he goes, this this ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you saying I do. Because <laughs> I could see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in sand. I could see us on the countryside, sitting on the grass, saying side by side. You can call me baby. Oh, Jesus. May let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me. Ain't gonna do nothing crazy. Listen, so there's somebody. Okay. Someone here might even try to. Somebody might offer commitment to someone or propose to somebody here. Or there's going to be a lot of people proposing to others in this autumn season is what I feel like is going on. All right. I'm also getting like someone really does see y'all. Someone sees a future with you. Like someone could see themselves like happy with you in the present moment and in the future. Like this is really beautiful, actually. And then he goes, uh. See, all I want you to do is be my, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. Okay, so somebody doesn't, somebody wants, oh God, this could be someone who doesn't want you to be out here dating other people. Or this is, this is someone here who's worried that you're out here giving away the good, the goodies or something. I'm also getting like, if this is someone that you've already met before, this is someone who, um, they need to tell you something. Like, I think either they need to tell you a secret or that's i keep getting something like i kept hearing this song too like you lied to me da -da 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 -da. i never done i lied. listen i'm not good with lyrics da -da -da, da -da -da -da. okay that song so i don't i don't know Maybe somebody lied on you. Maybe somebody said that you cheated on them and they didn't cheat on you. Or you didn't cheat on them. Or or there was something here. Something happened. Something fucked something up. Something is going to be made clear. Or maybe somebody wants you to forgive them. Whoever cheated on you. I don't know if you should take someone back who cheated on you, I'll be honest. Because that just shows like they don't have um, respect for your ass. That just shows they have uh, they have the ability to consciously make a decision to betray you. Okay, that's what it sounds like to me. But um, it is what it is. Everyone has their own life. It doesn't even have to be that extreme. It may not even be like to that extent. It could just be like there was a misunderstanding or somebody. I don't know. Who knows? Let me see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to horror when it comes to this message? Mind you, this also could be someone you don't know. Okay, flip it where it needs to go. But this person knows of you. Can you tell me what the heck is going on? We have repers... I can't even say it. I'm not going to even attempt to. Okay. It says, I want to have equal give and take. So this is someone here who's going to give you a, a balanced equal give and take with y'all. Okay. This is not someone here that's just coming to take, take, take. And you just give, give, give. And you don't, you know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, we have hope here. It says, I haven't given up on us yet. So this could be somebody you already know. Ciao. Can we get some, uh, can we get some clarity? Can you get some clarity up in this? This bait. Who is this person? I haven't given up on a collection. This is a masculine energy that's still having hope that y'all will be together. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, or I'm talking to a masculine and you haven't given up on the person that you have on your mind. There's a lot of chemistry between y'all. And it's undeniable. We have, I've never felt a passion this intense. Oh, damn. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this person wants to come in as a uh, as your partner. Or your companion. This person wants to come in and work as a team is what I feel like. You guys could be of different ethnicities. Different shades of color of the skin. Different types of walks of life. Different uh, something. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. 
tell me more, spirit. Yeah, we have reveal. It says, I want to tell you the truth. So somebody could have lied to you, and you could be very mad about a lie or something. Maybe you already know about this lie, but someone wants to come in and tell you. They want you to hear it from the horse's mouth or something. This is someone that definitely wants to come in and reunite with you. This is kind of, this is a little adorable. Listen, I don't feel grossness from this situation. Whatever it is. Whatever separated y'all. That's what's in the past, I feel like, needs to be said. Or that's something here that needs to be forgiven in order for this reunion to be... Wrong one. <laughs> the reunion to be successful, okay? Ooh, I picked up Neptune. Okay, so something about a sacrifice is of significance. Or there was something here that was very confusing. And somebody wants to make it clear. Okay? Or somebody wants to apologize for being confused. I don't know. Who knows? Spirit. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not the love person, but this is this is what's happening. Yeah, somebody's deciding to listen to their feelings about how they feel about you. Um, it's they're they're being guided by this, by their heart. Okay, is what it feel like. They're acting on it. This is happening to this masculine energy or feminine who has masculine energy. Place it where I need to go okay you know what else, you know what else I'm getting with this it's like um you and this person's moon signs are compatible something about that something about your guys's moon signs are compatible okay but your sun signs could be weird <laughs> Something like that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Yeah, somebody's deciding to let go of their ego. They're putting down their pride. It says, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. And that is in reverse. <laughs> tell me more, Spirit. You lied to me. <laughs> I can't. I'm also getting somebody could have just lied to you about how they truly feel about you as well. Maybe somebody was just telling you in the past, like, no, you're just a this ain't something serious. You're just a hookup, blah, blah, blah. But truly, this person had deeper feelings for you, possibly. OK, maybe you guys met each other at the wrong time. Maybe you and this person. Um, maybe one of you or both of you place where you need to go. We're dealing or in the process of healing. Um, from a very painful relationship. Okay? Something like that. Maybe this person wasn't emotionally available at the time. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I'm not trying to give excuses. I'm just giving um, perspectives. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Yeah, somebody feels guilty for how they treated you. Somebody knows, like, the way they were acting was, like, out of a place of hurt is what it feels like. It says, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Somebody knows. They know. They know what happened. Yeah, somebody here feels like they have unfinished business with you. It says, we still have things to resolve and to discuss. <laughs> Sorry. I love having fun with words. Let me, let me just calm down. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is going on? <laughs> holy spirit holy angels listen i feel like you and this person laugh a lot together you guys like are able to like you guys have inside jokes whoever i'm speaking to you too have inside jokes like you're able to play around with each other I'm getting like two peas in a pod you guys could be able to like finish each other's sentences or something i don't know what's up with this or who do who is this can we get some signs on who this person is letting down the pride this person could be an aries okay or they could have aries somewhere in their chart or someone here is deciding to take charge or make the first move in a situation yeah you and this other person have been mirroring uh each other's um energies okay so and and spiritual growth is what i'm getting 
So this could be someone you haven't even been talking to. You haven't spoken to them in a while. I feel like um, this could be your twin flame. Because whenever you're, for some of you, not all y'all. But whenever your twin, or whenever you heal your twin, you like help carry them. I hope this makes sense. This could be a Libra that you're dealing with, or someone here could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Okay, listen, I'm not an expert on twin flames. Please do not ask me more questions. Tell me more stuff. <laughs> I can't. Listen. Never mind, I'm not going to put that in the universe. Tell me more, spirit. What else do they need to hear? What else do they need to hear about this situation? Yeah, somebody here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake, or you do. Okay, you both could be uh, very um, intuitive, okay? You both could be actually very mysterious. Maybe you both can't read each other. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what is being mirrored, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Ciao. Ay, ay, ay. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Note the date, okay? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat. The Libra's out here twice. You see this in the back? <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Unfinished business. <laughs> what is this unfinished business, Parit? Actually, I like these. These are my new favorite. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me more? What the heck is going on? Can we hear more about this situation? Sorry, I know I'm looking crazy right now. It is what it is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I had to push myself to do this read, okay? I was just chilling and relaxing, being like, let me just... Let me just go to sleep. But then I was like... Let me do a reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Wait. Yeah. Can you tell me more about this situation? What is this unfinished business? What's going on? Okay, so yeah. Somebody keeps looking back to the past and having regrets about something. Okay? There's some sort of... Okay, shit says, looking back at past and having regrets, something will come back to bite you. Buried secrets, misguided information. Somebody here, somebody here could have been given misguided information when it comes to you. Somebody realized somebody lied to them about you or they lied to you about how they felt or about something, okay? And this person now feels like something is here to bite them in the ass and they got to be truthful about something or I don't know. That's what it looked like with this trinket here. Or somebody here was um, going back to that, that weird-ass energy of, like, somebody here could have been, like, um, what's it called? It's not bribing. Um, blackmailing somebody from coming towards you. They could have been telling them, like, oh, we're going we're gonna to dump out your dirty laundry for the whole streets to see if you go back to so-and-so, to the collective. Okay, it could have been one of those situations. Yeah, this person, oh, wow. It says fixer, repairing relationship solutions. This person wants to come in and fix and repair this relationship with you. They want to overcome the problems. Okay. This is what this, un, this is clarifying this unfinished business here. Yeah, we got overcoming obstacles, chow. <laughs> Why am I getting like the movie? <laughs> what is the movie called? Ghost with Demi Moore in it and Patrick Swayze where they're like, <laughs> they're making pottery together. I don't know. There's, <laughs> I don't know anything about that movie, but something like that is significant. <laughs> Okay. What is this secret that needs to be revealed? Oh. Never mind. Why do we have, um, what do we reveal here? What is this? Scorpio. 
So there could be someone, a Scorpio here that needs to reveal something. Or there's a Scorpio here that has revealed some sort of truth here. Okay. Somebody here felt like it was hard to trust you. Or someone was working on their trust issues or something here. Or someone wants to tell you the truth about how there was like an envious person that was in between y'all. Okay. Or someone here was like in a situation or in a stage in their life where they were overly sexual. Something like that. <laughs> so some of y'all. Also, this person wants to come in and tell you that they needed to fix some sort of in inner demons that they had within them. Okay, I'm also getting... There was someone here that was secretly envious of you in your guys' relationship. And that built some sort of resentment because they were feeling stuck in life while they were watching you... Per like, uh, I don't, I don't know why I wanted to say per, propel forward, but that's what it seems like. And it could have, like, um, brought out some sort of inner demons this person needed to face. Okay. Maybe you are dealing with, mm, let me just not. Careful, people. I don't like what that's saying to me because that could mean a lot of different things. Someone also could have been saying that you have an STD is also the vibe I'm getting or that you were sick or ill in some way. Yeah, this was some sort of like um, uh, shit people were discussing by the water cooler. This was like some water cooler fucking topics about you. Or about them. Place where I need to go. Okay, or someone here was talking shit about your hygiene. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Okay? Or something about your... Or someone here could have been saying that you're cheap. Not worth something. Whatever. Um... This could have been someone coming in to try to, like, tell this person that they wanted to, you know... Warn them and keep them safe. But truly, this person was just trying to control them in some way. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. Damn. Spirit. Dear Lord. Why do I have I don't have to go to Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone feels guilty about their pride. Someone wants to come in with some sort of clear and concise communication, okay? They want to clear things up with you. Okay. <laughs> Let me see, spirit. What else do we need to know about this situation? I feel like ever since you guys separated, someone here kind of could... Someone feels like they were lost at sea for a little bit or something. Something like that. Getting like just floating or something. Just floating. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What the heck is going on with this situation that I'm picking up? Yeah, for whoever I'm speaking to, you can feel really guarded right now. Ooh, or someone here was very numb when you y'all got together or there was a lot of energy of suspicion or there still is places where I need to go you guys meet in the astral okay there's definitely a running chasing vibe going on you and this person are soulmates okay with this push and pull situation you guys are part of the same um, soul family here you guys have a, a divine connection 
Okay, there's somebody here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Okay, you could be guarded because you're you're um you are trying to protect yourself from people who have a lot of pride or have or display a lot of narcissistic behaviors or who are manipulative or who are in their ego. I'm so tired of what's going on right now. Tell me more because I can't figure out who's what and what's who. And I feel like this is happening on purpose. Mirroring. So you and another person, you and another person are reflecting each other. You guys could trigger each other. We have triggering another. What the hell is going on? We got seeing the signs. It says they are seeing signs about you. Angel numbers. Pay attention to the signs and the divine messages. There's communication coming in. Talking things out. You guys could be talking things out in the spiritual and in the physical or something. Something, something's, there's going to be some sort of discovery. There's going to be some sort of tower moment, some sort of, um, sudden realization when it comes to the situation, okay? Or somebody, or you or this other person are going to have this moment of like, oh, wow, they're part of my soul tribe. Who the hell is this person, though? I don't like this card being out here. Like, why are you here, sir? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is this? Okay, I have a vibe of something that might be happening. There could be someone that... Okay, this could be... Whoa. This could be two people. Mm. This could be two people, okay? One, one person might come in and offer you, like, pink roses. And someone else is going to offer you red roses. Like, you got to pay attention to the offering and how it's being offered. Like, one is filled with a lot of lust and the other one's filled with actual, like, loving emotions. One comes with peace, the other one comes with... Chaos? I don't know. Spirit, can you tell me what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Jesus. Tell me more. Got it. Yeah. Tell me more. Not again. Okay. What the f Who is this person, Spirit? Oh! Okay, listen. Okay, Jesus. Before I keep going. This, mm, the person that could have lied on you could have been a family member of theirs, okay? Either a feminine energy in their family or a masculine energy. Or it could be both. Something like that. Why do we have so many? And that's why maybe somebody... Wow, soulmate is literally um, clarifying soulmate again. So, this person wants to come in and nurture and support you. Like, this is genuine is what I feel like. Who is the genuine person, Spirit? Cancer. So, this genuine person coming in could be a Cancer. Oh, they have Cancer somewhere in their chart. Tell me more. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. Note the date. Or you do. Play more. This person could have Pisces somewhere in their chart, or you're a Pisces. Place it where it needs to go, or Scorps. Damn, this is a lot of water. Or someone's coming in with a lot of emotions. Okay. What in the heck is going on? Okay. Uh. Uh, 
know. <laughs> that sounds about right. Okay, so this person coming in to offer you something is a false flame of yours. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a pig. Note the dates. Okay. That makes sense. Tell me more. This person could also have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger for some of you. Note the date. This person wants to come in and offer you money. Like, I feel like all this person can offer you is money. I don't think this person can come in and offer you actual nurturing and support. Like, someone, someone's coming in either for your money or just that's all they can provide is money. If you're down for that, do what you want to do. But there's someone else here that actually wants to love you. Like, true love, feelings of true love is out here. Maybe that's your test. Who are you going to choose? You're going to choose the shmoney or are you going to choose the love? I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather be in love. I can make my own money, bitch. That's how I feel. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's get out the shells. What is going on? Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an M. Yours or theirs. We got F. We have L. We have U. We have V. We have E. We have X. We have D. We have Y. We have P. We have B. We have T, we have D, we have S, we have K, we have O. <sighs> yeah, there's someone here that just kind of wants your body. We have body here, the word body. Someone's name could be Brody. Don't have to be. Someone's name could be Todd. Whoever I'm speaking to, someone someone here could have a, um, what's it called? A PO officer? Uh, what is that? Yeah, PO officer. That could be you or them. I ain't judging, you know what I'm saying? Um, whoever I'm speaking to, you could have gotten yourself out of the mud. We have the word mud out here. We also have the word dumb out here. D-U-M-B. -D Someone feels dumb. Or somebody thought you were dumb. I don't know. Place where it needs to go. We got dumb out here. Or don't make a dumbass decision. Um, somebody here could have tummy issues. We have tummy. The word tummy. Okay. Or something here about a tummy tuck. All right. We have dub out here. Someone here could have like, um, this is for some of you, not all y'all. Somebody here could have dubbed someone's voice. Okay. Like with technology in order for you to sound like you're saying something that you didn't say. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Some of you need a mop. Okay. We got the word mop out here. We have the word mo. Someone's name could be Mo. Moses. Someone's name could be Moses. Okay. Someone's name could be Pete. Okay, or something about someone's pet. Whoever you're dealing with, this person could be ver um, a veteran. Okay, this could be someone who was in the military. 
For some of you, not all y'all. The hell? Someone here? Okay, nah. I don't want to say it though. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. Someone here could be a. Mm, let me just say, someone here could be a politician or something. Okay. I'm also getting something about um a demo. Someone here could do music. Something about a demo. Okay. I'm also getting something about the tempo. I don't know. Also, something about your temperature. Someone wants to come in and check your temperature to see how you're going to react or what you might do. We have the word do out here. Or so they could figure out what they want to do when it comes to you. All right. Mm. We have the word dope out here. Someone here could be on dope. Don't have to be, though. There's a lot of political things out here right now. You could be dealing with someone in politics or something. I have the, we have the word vote. I'm also getting like this could have been someone who like decided to listen to a group of individuals on on making a decision when it comes to your guys' relationship. Maybe a group of people voted you out and was like, no, don't be with so-and-so. I don't know. Something. Someone here could be Mexican. You got Mexi, Mex. Someone here could be from Europe. You got EU out here. Someone here could be from per uh, Peru or Puerto Rico. <laughs> Ew. I'm going to say it. Something about someone's toes is of significance. <laughs> Something about Tuesday. You might hear from this person on Tuesday or on a Tuesday. I'm done. I also have the word mute. So there's someone here that wanted you to shut up. Or somebody wanted someone else to shut up. I'm also getting like there's someone here with a lot of excuses. There's someone here that want to put you in the box. Put you in a box. We have the word box out here. We also have tux. So someone here could be coming towards you. They could always wear a tux or a suit or something. Someone here could, we have the word lux, luxy. Someone here could like uh, luxurious things, expensive stuff. Something about soybeans. Someone here could be vegan. Someone here could have VD or somebody thought you had VD. Someone thought you had a venereal situation. As for some of you, not all y'all, but that's what it looked like. Um, we have the word York or yoke. Okay, I'm over it.
Okay, what else? What else? What else do we need to know when it comes to this situation, spirit? When it comes to love? What else do we need to know about this situation? Can we get some clarity on this situation? What's going on? What do we need to know? Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you're someone who's self-employed. You could be someone who's self-empowered. Okay, you could be someone who um, is the leader of your own life. Okay, you could be living very independently. All right. There's someone here that could be um, vibing low or feeling sad or having heavy emotions at this time because of your bossing up or the fact that you're very independent, okay? Someone here, could, you could have been dealing with someone who is unreliable in the past and they, they feel bad, they want to be reliable for you, okay? This person plays a lot of mind games, this person gaslights a lot, okay? They could use scare tactics, child i don't know how to feel about this situation i'm gonna be honest with y'all we have coward someone here is fucking a coward this person feels like they need closure with you either someone's gonna ghost someone soon okay or you already have or this person wants to apologize for ghosting you tell me more spirit Yeah, this person feels this person wants to come in and um, sweep you off your feet or something here it says head over heels falling in love intense emotions i don't know someone might want to come in and feed you an illusion that's for some of you not all y'all tell me more spirit yeah um listen Okay, listen, for some of you, you could have, um, ew, that sound about right. There's some, <laughs> I don't know who's what or what's who, but I feel like this is the narcissist from your past. The other love interest, I, I feel like it's being hidden on purpose. I don't fucking know why. Well, I know why, because weird people watch, but what I feel like is going on here is that you could have separated yourself from somebody from your past that you saw that was very much in their ego who was displaying a lot of narcissistic tendencies okay you could have left this person and then you could have bossed up and this person could have got all sad all up in their feelings okay it could have triggered this person's abandonment issues so what they decided to do was try to out your personal information okay or try to publicly publicly humiliate you because they got their feelings hurt that's what it looked like okay this person's also mad because their manipulation and their gaslighting didn't work their mind games didn't work okay this person is doing all this to seek some sort of attention from you this person's desperate and pushy or this is somebody that, this is the attitude of somebody that someone is leaving to be with someone else. Place that we need to go. Whatever it is, it's weird. Someone here is definitely keeping tabs on someone. Or somebody felt like somebody was creeping on the low, or they were creeping on the low. Or may, I don't. Somebody could have gotten you... Somebody could have lied and said that they weren't single. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Somebody could have lied and told you they were single when they were not. Maybe somebody here uh, hired a, a private investigator on somebody. Could have been a, a, whoever they were with that they were cheating on. And they found out that this person was... I don't know. Whatever it is, it's messy. I don't want to be part of this. What is this? 
Yeah, we got sorry, not sorry. Someone here is not remorseful. They're avoiding accountability. They're neglecting responsibility. Yeah, we have left on red, not in the mood, avoidance. Okay, you could be avoiding this person. Or this is what you have been doing. Or somebody could have found out, like, their their wife or their girlfriend was sleeping with someone else. I don't know. Something like that is going on. This could have been, like, the relationship of what somebody left you for. They left you for someone who's a cheater. They got cheated on. And now this person's like thinking about you or something. Cuddle session. Yeah, this is someone who likes to cuddle a lot. This person likes escaping the world with you. This person could be thinking about the past and how y'all just laid up. This person's thinking about how you're you're their peace or something. This is the vibe I'm getting. Somebody's just thinking about you and how you were their peace. And how they they left that behind for some drama queen or king or something here. Yeah, expect some sort of phone call or text message or DM from this person or an email. This person is definitely thinking about you. Yeah, this person wants to come in with some real authentic communication. I don't know. What's happening? Okay. Y'all be living some wild ass lives. Um. Who's gonna call and text these people? Who's gonna call and text them? Your twin flame is gonna call and text you. So this is what you can expect. Your twin flame's coming in. Maybe your twin flame has gone through all this shit. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Yeah, your twin flame could be a Pisces for some of y'all. They could have Pisces somewhere in their chart. Or your twin flame is now finally seeing through the illusions. That maybe their family or, or ex was trying to make them believe about you. Is also what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this story. Yeah, this is a masculine that's gonna reach out to you. Ew. This your twin flame is being obsessed with you right now. If you have any form of social media, they are definitely like watching you constantly. Listen, I'm going to I'm going to end this. <sighs> Dear Lord. Let me get some angel numbers. Actually, can we figure out what the heck this this what is this going to be? There's good luck when it comes to this relationship, okay? <laughs> Something about horses. Someone here can own horses or somebody lives in the country or something. Tell me more. We have successfully overcoming a problem. So somebody here definitely wants to rebuild some sort of bridge with you or cross the bridge with y'all. Okay. Mm. We have scales. It says keep your life in balance. Okay. I also feel like somebody wants to balance something out between y'all. This could be a Libra. You could have Libra somewhere in your chart. Don't have to be. What else do we need to know about this situation? Yeah, something important such as a new job or a raise is also coming in for you. Or you just could be focused on getting the bag. All right. And that's justice for you too. We have ladder. It says climbing towards success. That's what you got going on. Okay. It says money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall is on its way. <sighs> lordy, lordy. So this is good. That's all good. The love thing, I don't... I don't know. What can we expect with this love situation? 
actually, I don't want these. What can what can we expect when it comes to this love situation, spirit? <laughs> what can we expect? I'm so tired. What can what can they expect, spirit? Child, see <laughs> something here. Something's toxic, or someone's getting out of a toxic situation. We have toxic love. It says, don't pollute your body by holding on to what you think is for you. Not aligned. Drama. Low vibrational. Okay, so somebody here could be moving away from somebody that they know is low vibrational. It says, the staff. It says, take stock of the situation before making a decision. It says, stand firm. Spiritual power. Wait. So, yeah, you might need to wait. Okay, or someone, or you need to stay patient when it comes to your love life okay or don't make any hasty decisions when it comes to love especially if someone's coming from the past trying to propose to you and you and this person don't have the best past uh take a take a moment okay yeah we got waiting all right it says while you're waiting ask yourself is it worth waiting for i don't know some of you could be questioning whether you want to wait for somebody here to get their shit together i don't know something like that is going on you don't have to you have free will you you could be wondering like maybe i should just keep my independence like this gypsy soul woman okay it's up to y'all do what you want to do tell me more i'm not your mama i'm not your daddy okay it says you're becoming the person you're meant to be and owning your story Okay, you, you guys are definitely very much self-aware of who you are. And maybe you're dealing with someone who doesn't know who they are yet. And, and they're expecting you to wait for them to figure that shit out. And it's like, do you have the time though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the calling. It says, expect to receive the news that you've been patiently waiting on. Call, text, news, communication, new info. Somebody wants to come in and express their intense feelings that they have for you with this fire. This could be from a fire sign, don't have to be. But it says exciting times are approaching that will give you a new sense of hope. I also feel like you guys are something, whatever that's coming in, whatever this news, this information, this call or text or email that's coming in, it's going to, you're going to be presented with something that's going to change your life in some way. I don't know how, but I feel like it's a big way. Okay. Um, yeah. It's a big way. Uh, uh, mm. Somebody has a fake friend. Maybe that was the person that lied on another person was a fake friend. Because we have snake here, the snake says beware of hidden snakes that pretend to be harmless secret enemies rival fake friends you could have someone from your past that's a fucking snake and they're just coming in to act like they love you you got two options it feels like two people it doesn't feel like the same person i'm gonna be honest with you it says a danger foreseen is half avoided so this is a warning Okay, about you waiting for this other person or you taking someone back because I feel like there's someone here that's on a path of self-destruction and they just, they want to, they want you to go down with them too is what it seems like. It says a sudden change is coming that will completely change your reality. Yeah, chaos, wake up call, endings, revelations. Listen, I did pick up P.O., like a PO, a, a what is it called? A parole officer. You could be dealing with someone who's getting out of jail or you're dealing with someone who has been to jail before and they have a PO person. Um, this person might try to get you wrapped up in some dumb shit. Don't listen. Never mind. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, but it's not fucking smart. Okay, we got... <laughs> Let me stop. We got openness. Okay, it says create the atmosphere of openness and trust without the game playing. It says transparency, vulnerability. Uh, I can't even say this word, but it is what it is. Someone here could be 39 years old. Don't have to be. Someone here could be born on the 8th of a month. Someone here could be born in 1978, <clears throat> 1959, 
I don't know. We got Divine Masculine at the bottom of the deck. These readings... What the hell do you want, sir? Who is <laughs> who is this divine masculine? This person wants this is Jesus. Who is this divine masculine? <laughs> divine masculine could have Libra somewhere in their chart. They could have a Libra moon. They could have a Pisces moon, a Capricorn moon. Or they're a Capricorn, Pisces, Libra. They could have uh, the, the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. This is your twin flame. Jesus Christ. We have twin flame. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. Note the date. Someone here could have Pisces somewhere in their chart or you do. This person could be a Libra. Or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart or you do. This person could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart or you do. Okay. This person could be coming in to ask you for advice or they're going to come in and give you advice. This person wants to stay in um, for the long haul. This is... Mm, I don't know how to feel about this. Maybe that's how y'all going to feel when this person comes in. I don't... I don't know. Can you tell us more about this situation? Oh! It says, Vacuum away fear. It says, Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear based energy from you. It says, your, And your surroundings. And this situation and everyone involved. Tell me more. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this person... See what the heck else? What is what does Archangel Michael gotta say about this situation? What does Archangel Michael have to say about this situation? It says you're on the right path. <laughs> it says Archangel Michael, I'll call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and fulfilling me with the courage and confidence to make a helpful life change. Tell me more. Jesus it says pay attention to your dreams so something about this person you you're you could be dreaming of this person of this divine masculine ew sorry I didn't mean to say ew but I did it says certain things catch your eye but pursue only those that capture your heart didn't I say something about that earlier? About someone, you caught someone's eye? I feel like this is two people. There's one person that like, you caught their eye and they're seeing you as like a sexual situation, right? And then the other one, you, 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 you got them by the heart or something. Ay, 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 ay. It says, write about your thoughts and your feelings. So you can have um, a clear insight when it comes to something here. <sighs> what the heck? Huh. What else? What else do we need to know about this situation? 
There's definitely chemistry. Yeah, there's some about y'all is different. You guys were supposed to trigger each other to heal. You guys both suffer or have family issues or family trauma. You guys could have different belief systems. You guys could be from um, different parts of town or. Anymore. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and express their love to you. It will. I'm over it. I'm done. What else do they need to hear, spirit, so we can bounce? What else do they need to hear regarding this reading, spirit? Compassion. You're being asked to have compassion when it comes to the situation. Okay, it says soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. We have divine order. It says everything is how it needs to be right now. It says look past the illusion and see underlining order. So things are becoming balanced when it comes to this situation. <clears throat> How many more? We have gifts from God. It says, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So this person coming in, reaching out to you, offering you love, okay? Or one of the two. Or maybe it's the same person and they healed. That's the past of the version of them and they're coming in as the new version, place over needs to go. Regardless of the situation, this love offer that's coming in, it's a gift from God. Okay, we have clairvoyance. It says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heaven and love. <clears throat> this is going to be the end of your reading. <laughs> can I get an angel number? We got 404. You guys could be seeing this angel number. It says, set goals for yourself and focus on the things that matter most. Everything else will fall into place. We have 2222. It says, it may not be time just yet, but don't let despair, anger, or frustration overcome you. Be optimistic and keep the faith, especially when it comes to your love life. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. Get this one. What else do they need to know? Then we're gonna go. It says big dreams are built by those who do the work. So whoever I'm speaking to, you did the work, and that's why this gift is coming in. It says be the brave and authentic soul you were always destined to be. This is what your higher self wants you to know says your dreams are never further than you can reach and then it says when you bond with someone in spirit you both become a greater force for good so this definitely is a twin flame reunion situation going down okay this is going to be the end of your reading now <laughs> don't forget to like comment share subscribe until next time I love you guys. Okay, bye.